Wards fought over control of power, food, and territory. It is the primary factor that leads to fights between different animal species. Animals will fight to death with one another since this is the only way for them to establish their dominance in the natural world and ensure their continued existence. The leopard is the wildcat species that may be found in most locations. Leopards are regarded to be solitary animals because adults only interact with one another during the breeding season, despite the fact that they are widespread across Africa. Leopards are able to communicate with one another through the use of the white spots that are found on their ears and tails. The lion is the most dominant animal of all the species that live in the savanna. When we talk about them, we can't avoid mentioning the bloody conflicts that were fought against them. The lion is the most dominant animal of all the species that live in the savanna. When we talk about them, we can't avoid mentioning the bloody conflicts that were fought against them. The combined might of a pride of lions is unrivaled by any adversary, as evidenced by the fact that even formidable foes are no match for them in combat. Animals that share highly competitive territory are more likely to fight with one another in order to establish their superiority. Because they need to compete for territory with one another in order to survive, leopards have evolved into a dangerous foe for lions. Therefore, anytime a lion comes across a leopard, it immediately launches an attack on it. The leopard has the disadvantage of being in the territory of the opponent, but the lions have combined to construct a dangerous posture from which to attack it. The leopard is able to maintain enough composure to use its brains when it feels threatened. It will pretend to lie motionless in order to discover a way out of the predicament. The leopard supine helps it dodge strikes from the opponent. The leopard has its sights set on the cub in order to get revenge on the lions. It hastens to seize the lion cub and then rushes to climb a neighboring tree. As the poor cub is being chewed on by the leopard, its mother lion moves up to it and approaches gently. Because of the combined weight of the two, the branch breaks and both of them land on the ground below. After following its prey discreetly from a nearby tree, the leopard quickly leaps to the ground and easily seizes the antelope. It then starts looking for places to hide so that it may take its time eating such a massive prey. And because of the leopard's natural power, it is able to effortlessly haul the hefty prey up the tree. The lion watches the leopard from a safe distance as it feasts on an especially valuable prey item. The lion is starving, and after a tough battle with the leopard, it ultimately succeeds in chasing the leopard and eating its meal. Known as a master of the art of coordinated hunting in the savanna, with a success rate of up to 3 out of 4 in each hunt, the lifestyle of African wild dogs is herd-based, characterized by a high level of social organization and a strict code of conduct. One of the features that helps them live in difficult habitats with many larger and more dangerous predators is the fact that they may use this to their advantage. The leopard has just defeated an antelope, but has not had the time to enjoy its prey. Its other formidable opponents have appeared. Enemies are too large to avoid injury. The leopard leaves its prey for wild dogs, but they insist on attacking the leopard. Having the advantage of being adept at climbing trees, the leopard tries to keep itself in the tree. Waiting for the wild dogs to come out, the leopard quickly rushes to the ground to escape. It seems that the strategy of the wild dogs will not work in this fight. The leopard will stay stubborn in the trees, until the enemy has the intention to give up. Hyenas often 
engage into fights with lions over food because they are greedy and reckless. When the lions make a mistake, the hyenas will utilize that as a chance to attack in packs and take the prey that the lions have. Even though the cheetah has surrendered its skill to the hyena, it is still assaulted by a hyena. This time, the hyena does not just send one of its companions after the cheetah, rather, it calls on more of its comrades to help it subdue the cheetah. The cheetah will undoubtedly meet its end at the hands of the hyenas this time, for sure. Wild dogs are gathering, watching the ongoing battle between hyenas and leopards. They seem to be waiting for something from this war. Because hyenas are known to be greedy and frequently engage in competition with one another for prey, it's possible that wild dogs would utilize this occasion to teach hyenas a valuable lesson. The number of individuals belonging to each species is almost equivalent. In the event that this conflict breaks out, there is no way that any side will emerge victorious. The hippopotamus is one of the most aggressive animals in the world and the top of the group of dangerous animals in Africa. They are especially aggressive when invaded. <laughs> However, an elephant suddenly appears in the territory of the hippo. The giant stirs up trouble and causes mayhem in the lake in an effort to drive all of the hippos away from the watering hole. It digs further and deeper into the sandy bottom of the lake while brandishing its dangerous tusks and attempting to drive its rivals away with its massive trunk. Faced with abundant water resources, it does not hold back its ambition to conquer this territory. The hippopotamuses encircle the enormous elephant and all of them work together to force the adversary out of the land. They are flashing their enormous teeth as a warning. Preparing to leave, the elephant suddenly turns to attack the hippo that is hiding in the water. Hippos can take the life of a crocodile, but when facing a giant animal like an elephant, it also has to be cautious. During the chaos, the baby hippo is left alone. The elephant immediately comes forward to push the small animal with its trunk. Fortunately, the elephant then abandons the baby hippopotamus to go with its companions to occupy another puddle. In order to force the hippos out of the puddle, the elephants willfully enter the hippos' territory and work together to do so. The hippopotamuses are forced to retreat and hand up control of the region to their adversaries when confronted by the aggressive giants. The elephants are crossing the river to the other side, where there is more food. The adult elephants will form a circle, protecting the baby elephants inside so that the crocodiles cannot reach them. Discovering the prey, the cold-blooded hunter recklessly approaches. It hides under water camouflage, patiently observing its prey to plan a kill. When the opportunity comes, the predator rushes to grab the baby elephant's trunk with precision. With extremely strong jaws and sharp teeth, the crocodile makes its prey struggle in vain. Finally, after all unsuccessful attempts to escape, the baby elephant suffocates to death. Everything is over. The elephants continue their journey. Yeah.
Alright.